Welcome back to the cabin. This is Ed. I'm up here today. It's May the 4th. I try to get this yard mowed. It's the first time I've been here in a couple months. Grass is 80 inches high, maybe. Maybe a foot in place. It's kind of thin like our soil is not the best in the world up here. I'm going to spend some time mowing, checking out things at the cabin. Cleaning things up a little bit. I'm going to put the 72, which I brought up here today, in the shed once I get the shed cleaned out. Okay, I've got the grass cut. First time of the year, doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna see if we can't get the gravely to start. Okay, what a mess I've got up here under this shed. I'm going to try to move this wood out of here in this cart, perhaps stack it over by a tree, and then have room to park the Gravely and also the Suburban under the shed. We'll see if I can't get stung by one of these wasps. Okay, I'm making some headway as far as cleaning this up a little bit around here. Found a yellow jacket's nest inside of that uh, that wood pile, so I took care of them, I think. But I think I'm going to give them a couple of days. I'm going to try to get this gravely out of here. It's been up here for a long time, and i got a problem with the front. When I kick it in, it really makes a rattling noise, and I'm not sure what's going on. The engine still runs fine, and of course you see it's got oil all over it there. I need to change a gasket or seal or something like that. This cart that I have here, the tires look like they're up, but they really could use some air. So I'm going to push, push that cart back over here, this little trailer, and put it over top of... My generator something else I have here for uh, keeping battery charged up I have a solar tender and that's been here all last year or so and it's really worked well for my gravely gravely always has a good battery even if it's been sitting there for months I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to the battery here on the 72 okay guys before I leave I want to show you a pepperoni roll I live in West Virginia and we have pepperoni rolls in West Virginia it's not really rocket science it's just uh, a roll like a yeast roll and you put pepperoni inside before you bake it and you bake it sometimes you put cheese in it or basically just cheese sometimes hot pepper cheese if you go outside of West Virginia you ask people for a pepperoni roll they don't have any clue what you're talking about that's what a pepperoni roll is 
It was really invented in Fairmont, West Virginia. Coal miners would take their lunch and they were taking pepperoni and they were taking bread and someone got the idea, why don't we just bake pepperoni in the bread? Anyway, I just thought I would mention that to you since I do live in West Virginia. This is going to be my lunch today and give you an idea. One last shot at the cabin here on this May 4th day. There's the 72 setting under the shed. The gray will be going to come out with me. Grass doesn't look too bad for the first cut of the year. Thanks for coming along with me today. You have a great day.